Today's tutorial is going to be to recreate these famous hand pictures by Jerry Allsman. Hello, my name is Mark Newton from the School of Photography and in today's tutorial we're going to be recreating the effects by Jerry Allsman. Jerry Allsman is famous for not using Photoshop and doing all of the surreal photographic effects in just the darkroom. So we're going to try and recreate it in Photoshop. We're going to use the famous hand shots for this one. And here's the picture from Jerry Allsman that we're going to try and recreate. And first of all, what you're going to need is two pictures. One of your hands and one of a picture that you want to put into your hands. This is a picture that I took uh, down in South End on Sea. The next thing you're going to need to do is make them both black and white. That's really easy to do. You just go image, adjustments, and desaturate. There's a shortcut there if you want to use the shortcut. Desaturate the picture and you want to give it a bit of contrast as well and I'm going to put my contrast in by using curves. Image, adjustment, curves. I'm going to put a nice S curve in there and really bring out that sky like so. We can always adjust that a bit later on. Click OK. The other thing is I'm going to crop it a little bit. I don't need all of this. So I'm going to bring in the edges a little bit. And I want mainly sky because that's how the other picture looks. So if I crop it like that, that will be OK. Click the tick there. And then you just need to do the same for the hand picture. Desaturate it, give it a bit of contrast. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, now we're back and as you can see, I've got a nice black and white hand picture and I've got a nice black and white sky picture if you like. And now what you need to do is move this sky picture into the hands picture. That's really easy to do. You click on the move tool Click and hold the image, drag it into the tab of your hands picture, pull it down, release, and there it is now in your picture. And as you can see, it's created another layer. Resize the picture to how you want it to be. Um, I'm not far off where I want to be there, but Control and T, the free transform, hold down the Shift key and make it to roughly where you want it to be. Oh, I'm going to think about that. I can always move that around in a minute. So when you're happy, press return. or click the tick at the top. Then we need to create a, a layer from the background. And the background is currently locked. And all you do is you click on the lock symbol and you drag it and drop it down into the bin. Release and it creates another layer. Drag that layer one underneath your hands and now you can't see it select the hand layer and as your blend mode you want to use darken and now you can see the picture within the hands it's really cool eh? now what we need to do is maybe move it around a little bit and get it right so let's select the layer that I want to move which is that one and bring it down a little bit and as you can see it's not getting to the top so I'm gonna make it bigger by pressing Control and T and I'm just gonna make that image bigger and move it and that looks nice I like that a lot actually putting the boat right in the center of the hands there that looks great click the tick at the top again and you can leave it like that if you want to, but I'm looking at it and I'm thinking that the sky is not dark enough. So ironically enough, we're going to use an old-fashioned technique, which is called burning in, which is what you used to do in the dark room. But we're going to do it in Photoshop. And you click on this symbol here, select Burn Tool. 
make sure that you've got a nice big brush take your exposure down I'm gonna just take it right down to about 10% that'll do and you want a nice soft edge to get the soft edge you right click take your hardness down to zero there it's already at zero okay press return and I'm gonna just burn this sky in make sure that you're on the correct layer and just click over it and you can burn that sky in. that looks really nice I really like that a lot I'm gonna burn the top in a bit more this brings back memories from being in the darkroom so once you've burnt in the sky you can also rub bits out from the layer below because we want to we want the fingertips to to be seen just like in the original picture so um, you make sure again that you select the layer that you want to work on which is layer one we're going to select the eraser tool here use um, yeah that size brush will do and make sure that the hardness of it is soft so down to 0% there press return and then you've got your eraser here and then all you do is erase back bits that you don't want okay now let's go back and look at the original picture as you can see it's sort of like the fingertips and maybe the thumbs let's go back to my picture so let's come and erase in here and at this, at this point I'm going to take the opacity of the eraser down so that it doesn't do it so much and I can, I've can i got a bit more control then that's better that's better like that look at the original and that's not bad at all actually I think I'll do a little bit more but I think that's about right there you have it, it really is as simple as that, as that. I've created a Jerry Altman effect in Photoshop using two of my own pictures. Save it as a JPEG and save it as a Photoshop file if you want to work on it again. And you've got your final image. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to see any more free tutorials, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on social media, and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.